They went around seven times. There's been a dark cloud over this city. Trying to hold back ministry. Des, y'all ain't here, y'all ain't hearing me. Messing with y'all's pastors. Trying to ding, bring dissension among the body. Y'all ain't saying nothing. Trying to get these kids, these kids and teens turned out. But do I have anybody in here that can shout at the wall of Jericho and know that something's about to break up in this city? Yeah!
in this world but don't fit in Go hard, my God, it's big time like Big Ben On the mission all the time with a dope team And put it all on the line for a tower that won't leave Speak what I believe All in the name of the solution Saluting all the soldiers doing the same Cash for a deuce and I ran still for the faith Though they hand him in undisclosed prisons He wouldn't break Peace to my brothers and sisters in the UK living and standing firm on a soapbox, getting it. From the states to the rest of the globe, we keep pressing as we letting them know. Let's go! I keep it 100, Ben Frank on that Instead I let my light shine like city lights Word to Jason, make war every night Spark like napalm, step calm In the streets where candy paint was popular H-time, born and raised, known to get it popping, bruh Left to find a different world, you can call it Sinbad Got me flying high, no magic carpet like Sinbad Yeah, I found a different world, no it ain't that heel, man The place of the star, rugged cross on a hill, man Shout out dog to all of y'all, this one here for every saint In it but not of it, from the Cacalac to Cali, man I'm in this world, but I'm not. I, 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 I'm in this world, but I'm not. I, 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 I'm in this world. Shout them, what up? got more exes on the street than that boy Malcolm. It's squint in the bay, we got David like faith. Word. These San Francisco Giants going down today. Going down. I roll with some Mavericks when I stay out in Dallas. Children of the king, but don't live in the palace. Word. It's still Jesus music when you hear it in the distance. BJ rolling with me when I'm hanging out in Memphis. Whether Cali or London, stay on your grind. I wear an A hat, cuz George is on my mind. Yeah. Live in this world. Live in this world. But I'm not of it. No, I'm not of it. No, I got some brothers and sisters. I got some brothers and sisters. And we are, we are the lovers. Yeah, we are the lovers. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So just type the job website address here. That's it. Then you enter what job you're looking for there. Electrician. This is Peter. Recently, he got help going on the internet for the first time to look for a new job. Okay. Then you just hit search and... In the past, Peter's gotten work through people he knew, but he heard there were more jobs online. There we go. These are all for me? Uh huh. Really? He had no idea just how many. I can't believe it. This one looks good. Peter is thinking the internet might be for him after all. And this is just one website. Wow. Why didn't I do this sooner? See what the internet can help you do at everyoneon.org or call 1 855 387 9166 to find a free training class near you. Brought to you by Connect to Compete and the Ad Council. You are listening to the Gospel Music Explosion with Minister Robin Lynn. Do you run away when there's no hiding place? Shouldn't I know there's nowhere to run? Won't you give your life to the dawn? Choice is yours to make. Please don't you hesitate. I'm getting older. Just can't be too late. Time after time. 
still said I, I know you hear my Jesus Why won't you let him come in now God so loved the world That he gave his only son yeah. John made the sacrifice For you and I He gave his life Don't you make up your mind Cause we don't have much time The sun is going down I know you don't want to be held by Ooh, hey. Time after time Though you hear him You still say it
ready, ready, ready. Any anyway, weapon we rise against, we shall fall. Yeah. Don't fire when me put over your wall. Father God, tell me if you preach it like Paul. Yeah. Flew Eden like Goliath and Saul. Small as make big tree fall. And answer God call. Make a joyful night to the Lord. And to the Lord, make a joyful night. He that will live in the secret place of the most high shall forever live and never die. Wash under the Christ that make me start cry. When me see Peter deny, Judah be trading most high. That's why me love a friend and friendship in a vibe. No for them to live the way that he live on dry. He be taking me and look to the sky. for me but you know what what I did was I turned the song around just a little bit and tonight I want to do it my way can I do it my way hit me right there fella.
What if you didn't follow the path everyone else takes? Would you rather make your own way or spend your life saying, what if? Life is calling. How far will you go? Peace Corps. To find out more, call 1-800-424-8580 or go to peacecorps.gov. Listening to the Gospel Music Explosion with Minister Robin Lynn.
thing, cause my thing is respectable. I get in where I fit in. No secrets, nothing's hidden. I check the heads bobbing and dropping cause of written material. Looking y'all like cereal, leave cereal messages. Betrayal of my Jesus Christ, I guess it's just the way I choose to use my course to bring the news. Instead of pain, I realize there's power in the name. Goes the lightning, it's crackling, it's frightening. Much needed calling card to prevent from falling hard. Hitting your head on pavement, you need to beat my wavelength. Precautious with the info, now why you living tenfold? Your nature's starting to swallow you, friends beginning to follow you. The devil's pulling strings to demolish and, and abolish you like fetuses. His cohort, the rocks goes and cletuses. Riot like Carmen with the intel of Harmon. The tax in every area, deadly like malaria and viruses. I can see the hurt in your irises. Why was this turmoil aimed at me? Your curse put in reverse law. I suspect that. Leave much thought is required in question you just learned it. Take script, cause your life, make some changes and reword it. Take all it with the volley type of mind and put us under scatter blunders. Fresh manna feeds the hunger. Why you living on a chance for hopes and dreams? When you should be taking life the way that it seems. Nothing you will manifest, you still obtain or being blessed. Why you living on a chance for hopes and dreams? Why you living on a chance for hopes and dreams? When you should be taking life the way that it seems. Nothing you will manifest, you still obtain or being blessed. Why you living on a chance for hopes and dreams? Recollections and memoirs of a pre safe era. Although I waddled in the truth, I still dipped in the devil's terror. Bad is bad, you can say I had my share of it. Doing nothing drastic, depending how you stare at it. Skipping down the roads, I see the signs ahead And then cadaver central opens once the flesh is dead Because it's no to not Yoda, don't toy when finding paths Just select the narrow cause the broad has will be traps For me to fall in, and altogether miss my calling Snares play strategically, realms change metaphysically Fools don't know, but yet they really don't know The failure to receive the wisdom, some say in a man's growth It's difficult to comprehend if you can't fathom the rap I ask you, what if the rapture sweeps past In the end is only when you feel the strength of the seven Sorrow goes out for opposition, arm again Yet it is the place where his kingdom will cross the loss And victory goes into those who took the cross So now I take my stand, subject myself to persecution Since I've been informed, I'm not alone by execution in the public Relationship with Christ, none above it, I love it I'm mesmerized beyond infatuation To show the love of Christ, Titans of the relations Waiting in his midst to catch a glimpse of his glory Why you living on a chance for hopes and dreams When you should be taking life the way that it seems Nothing you will manifest, you still have been being blessed Why you living on a chance Yo, change that beat so they can peep my direction To bloodstreams, legal syringes of rhyme lectures Infectious as wounds, cleanse internal like prunes Soon call in his name, some will still see doom You will soon, cause you mention him as lord of your life On award shows and albums, everything is alright Who you? I never knew Say you did what for me, but you can start now Depart now, worker of iniquity Them shout outs, got you spat out quicker than cobra Live it beyond reproach until your sins found you broke Reflect you choking gas, in his name you ask Forgiveness of your past and acquittal for your Ask, ask me, you living on chances with lucky odds Got one up, still breathing, fronting with God But the time has come, don't miss the cue Be false or true, cause them freak me, baby Thanks to my savior days are through Straight up, I'm tired of fakes that be claiming in the family Grant, our mother's one, but our father's known foe So those who claim relations, hope your life is approved Ain't no playing with you, spoken love but the truth And intense of being blessed and nothing good Manifesting in your life, you living on a chance Of hopes and dreams, hopes and dreams Why you living on a chance for hopes and dreams? When you should be taking life the way that it seems. Nothing good will manifest, you're still intent on being blessed. Why you living on a chance for hopes and dreams? Why you living on a chance for hopes and dreams? When you should be taking life the way that it seems. Nothing good will manifest, you're still intent on being blessed. Why you living on a chance for hopes and dreams? Why you living on a chance for hopes and dreams? When you should be taking life the way that it seems. Nothing good will manifest, you're still intent on being blessed. Why you living on a chance?
Would you rather make your own way or spend your life saying what if life is calling how far will you go peace corps to find out more call 1-800-424-8580 or go to peacecorps.gov you are listening to the gospel music explosion with minister robin lynn hey!
Calling his children, I want to be first in the line when heaven is here. I won't have to search for my prize. There's no more pain, no misery or hurt in my eyes. I was doing good until the devil spot me. Pick me up and drop me. I saw the eyes of a killer with the heart of a Nazi. Since I know the truth, you know I know you know you're not safe a lot. See, I'm crazy because I preach agape. But I still just pity you all. Cause Satan has no greater pleasure than just killing you all. So I'm here to give you some wisdom that you should know. A prophet's a man and gain the world and lose his soul. My mind is my gun and the word is the bullets from my brain. So I'ma load it up and go out with a bang. Preaching a word on the street corners or the trains. Whenever, however, whether it's the meadows or the plains. The greater the sacrifice and the more that I gain. The feeling that I have inside, I cannot explain. So I... Don't care what it is, I will not complain. No, I don't care what it is. I am not ashamed of the gospel. God's gonna speak. See me in the churches, even in the streets. Find me outside, it's the word I'ma speak. I'm hoping I find some souls I can reach. I remember the blood. When I'm insecure, when there's something for Jesus, I feel I'm not capable of. Jesus is coming. No, I'm not making it up. Read the Bible when you're stuck between the hate and the love. Spoken through pages, God's always hoping no changes. We're trapped by sin till Jesus opened the cages. It's up to us to open the pages. We don't know God, yet he's always focused on strangers. Just like in the Bible, when Jesus spoke in his views. Open to choose, we listen when he told them the news. But all they did is joke and refuse. And what they was hoping to do is leave Jesus broken and bruised. They were far from truth. 
truth. So Jesus departed from Jews. He had followers and they were all scarred by the news that they treated him like a wild dog in a zoo. Yet when he died, he said he's only gone for a few. And no, without Jesus Christ, I cannot maintain the feeling that I have inside. I cannot explain, so I don't care what it is. I will not complain, no, I don't care what it is. I am not ashamed of the gospel. God's gonna speak. See me in the churches, even in the street. Find me outside, it's the word I'ma speak. I'm hoping I find some souls I can reach. Cause it's the gospel, God's gonna speak. See me in the churches, even in the street. Find me outside, it's the word I'ma speak. I'm hoping I find some souls I can reach. I can do all things through Jesus, so I'm never alone. The devil's roaming, trying to sneak pride in my dome. Causing me to think in life, I survive on my own. But I gotta remember, always keep my eyes on the throne. Cause after this life, there's no more attacks in the night. It's cause of all this darkness, I've been attached to the light. I walk through the valley of death without having a fight. I stay on my knees and walk on the path that is right for the passion of Christ. It's nothing like your average type. Satan was cast out for trying to master a heist. Cause the devil lied to God, the devil's on the side that died. I'm on a level just to ride. With God, cause he's my God to fly. When I still I hide from God, I saw I wonder why my pride won't die. But our God is good when he raised the lamb. Following pride, you're following the ways of man. Praise the lamb. Jesus an amazing man. When I see him, I will stand and just raise my hand for the gospel. For the gospel, 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 for the gospel. I'ma do it for the gospel. God's gonna speak. See me in the churches, even in the street. Find me outside, it's the word I'ma speak. I'm hoping I find some souls I can reach. Cause it's the gospel, God's gonna speak. See me in the churches, even in the street. Find me outside, it's the word I'ma speak. I'm hoping I find some souls I can reach. The gospel, God's gonna speak. See me in the churches, even in the street. Find me outside, it's the word I'ma speak. I'm hoping I find some souls I can reach. Cause it's the gospel, God's gonna speak. See me in the churches, even in the street. Find me outside, it's the word I'ma speak. after you I'm such a desperate man and if you let me catch you I'll be yours yours I'm yours 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 I'm yours Lord I'm yours I know I said this once before You know sometimes I change But you remain the same You used to sing a song Because there was a song to sing But now I sing for you My God, my King Ooh, 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 ooh. And I'll forever be Lord, I'm yours, yours, I'm yours, Lord, 
What would happen if you didn't follow the established path? If you did the unexpected? Would you feel scared? Proud? Relieved? Could you explain that helping the people of Peru improve their own community would also have an effect on your own? Or assisting an entrepreneur in Ukraine to launch her small business? Or creating a support group in Malawi for children orphaned by AIDS? What if you established your own path, one that others might follow? Would you rather make your own way or spend your life saying, what if? Life is calling. How far will you go? Peace Corps. To find out more, call 1-800-424-8580 or go to peacecorps.gov. You are listening to the Gospel Music Explosion with Minister Robin Lynn. Multiple angle make disciples tonight is your commencement since you've been adopted into the faith, then testify and tell the world of his saving grace. First John 4 and 10, not that we loved him, but he loved us first and sent his son to die for our sins. Oh, face, but your faith, young like Benjamin, but it's been safe for years, no new converts for witnessing. What's up with that, with that? If you're a Christian, it's bad, it's bad, real bad. Sad if most of you save a life, you never mention Christ to an unbeliever. They can't hear without a preacher. Let's so go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Get this on, get this on, this on, this on. For the souls diagnosed with the most sickness The homeless and the widows, man, I just don't get this James 1, 27 reveals this true religion In the eyes of the Father So if you never make it down to your altar Take the God from the side of the wall, grow and go Door to door like a postal service We ambassadors for grace And tell them welcome to the service We'd rather chill and hang in the sun Like wind through curtains We become merchants Selling our sermons for more than the furthering Of the gospel Using profits for funds and pockets I'm not against the offerings of supporting the prophets. Remember, salvation is a free gift of God. So when did we decide that it was okay to let's die? Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Get this on, this on, this on, this on. Well, I'm in, well, I'm in. 
make a joyful noise in this house. Make a joyful noise. Come on, make a joyful noise.
Would you rather make your own way or spend your life saying, what if? Life is calling. How far will you go? Peace Corps. To find out more, call 1-800-424-8580 or go to peacecorps.gov. You are listening to the Gospel Music Explosion with Minister Robin Lynn. Joy comes in the morning. Joy comes in the morning. Know that God is now. Know that God is now. Don't try to fight the battle yourself, but stand still, stand still and look up. look up. God is going to show up. He's standing right by. He's standing by. We want to say that one more time for somebody who may be discouraged. Don't be discouraged. Because joy is on the way. Weeping may endure for a night, but joy comes in the morning. Know that God is now. God is going to show up. God is going to show up. He is standing right by. He is standing by. For those of you who may not know it, there's healing. There's healing for your sorrow. Ooh. There's healing for your pain. From the rain. Lord, send the healing. Lord, send it for this one thing. Chastisement. Oh. 
You're struggling with your mortgage. You think about it. You don't do anything but think about it. What are we going to do if we lose the house? Where are we going to go? At work. I can't let anybody find out. I'm so embarrassed. At dinner. How can I tell the kids? It's going to wreck their lives. And at three o'clock in the morning. I don't know what to do. I don't know how to get through this. What's going to happen to us? It's time to stop thinking. It's time to start dialing. Call 1-888-995-HOPE for a free government program that offers expert one-on-one -on -one advice about your mortgage options. I'm all alone. No, you're not. We've helped over a million homeowners, and we want to help you. And now there are more ways to help. Call 1-888-995-HOPE or visit makinghomeaffordable.gov. Brought to you by the U.S. Treasury, HUD, and the Ad Council. You are listening to the Gospel Music Explosion with Minister Robin Lynn.
find the strength to rise from the ashes and make a new beginning. Anyone can feel the ache. You think it's more than you can take, but you're stronger.
160,000 kids and teens stay home from school every day to avoid being bullied. Hey, I'm Demi Lovato. Believe it or not, I was bullied in school. It hurt so bad I actually left school when I was home. And we can change what's happening. No one deserves to be treated like that. Words hurt. Don't be a part of it. You are listening to the Gospel Music Explosion with Minister Robin Lynn.
That you are mindful of me That you hear me When I call Is it true You are thinking of me How you love me It's amazing It's amazing So amazing It's amazing Lord, it's so amazing It's amazing I am a friend of God I'm a friend of God I am a friend of God Yeah, yeah, yeah I am a friend of God He calls me friend Over and over I am a friend of God I am a friend of God I'm a friend of God I am a friend of God He calls me friend God Almighty Lord of glory You have called me friend
one other thing that the saints in the old church had great confidence in. Yes, they believed that they could make a positive confession. They believed that they could speak to mountains and mountains would disappear. But they also believed in the power of prayer. And in that day, if people had telephones, most of them, their telephones had party lines. And you were in good shape if you didn't have the one party on your line. Some lines had multiple parties. So they envisioned themselves having a straight line to heaven. And there was something about it that when they felt a Holy Ghost connection in their spirit, they heard the Holy Ghost say, Jesus is on the main line. Tell him what you want. Evangelist Patricia Crutcher. You're struggling with your mortgage. You think about it. You don't do anything but think about it. What are we going to do if we lose the house? Where are we going to go? At work. I can't let anybody find out. I'm so embarrassed. At dinner. How can I tell the kids? It's going to wreck their lives. And at three o'clock in the morning. I don't know what to do. I don't know how to get through this. What's going to happen to us? It's time to stop thinking. It's time to start dialing. Call 1-888-995-HOPE for a free government program that offers expert one-on-one -on -one advice about your mortgage options. I'm all alone. No, you're not. We've helped over a million homeowners, and we want to help you. And now there are more ways to help. Call 1-888-995-HOPE or visit makinghomeaffordable.gov. Brought to you by the U.S. Treasury, HUD, and the Ad Council. You are listening to the Gospel Music Explosion with Minister Robin Lynn.
troubled times before Because of you I live needing nothing more Where you are my heart is in very far So promise me now We'll always be for in the land, and the sons of the angels of God looked upon the daughters of men and found them fair, and took of their wives, and their sons became of old great men of renown. So they have been mixing with us on a genetic level since the time of Enoch and Ezekiel's will. Here on earth we're intrigued by the sun, moon, and stars, and imagine there's got to be planets like ours. Some conceive of a face on the surface of Mars, so in need of a meaning and purpose we lost. And indeed they believe that these might be our gods, or that maybe with time we'll do right and evolve, and eventually reach what they seek, and then solve all the problems of man, but they really don't know that they fall in the 
the works of our hands all but just filthy rags So we travel the lands to take up our past Time our lapses and with it are much of the facts Some imagine that gods came in alien crafts They react in this way, they're so desperate for meaning and purpose But satanic servants, they know this, they have evil motives Am I making you nervous? <laughs> I'm just scratching the surface Signs from Ezekiel's wheel When the skies unfold like scrolls And the breaking of seals Heed the warning The message is clear Heed the warning The time draws near See the signs from Ezekiel's wheel When the skies unfold like scrolls And the breaking of seals Heed the warning The message is clear Heed the warning The time draws near In the blink of an eye All believers will be raptured Anyone left receives a mark on the caption This leader will arise Claim his origins are alien Possessed by Satan on the side of the Nephilim Possessed those who left Held us back from evolving And now that they're gone We'll solve all of our problems The worship of anyone God will be halted Evolving to gods and ourselves be exalted We'll play on these lines And in time they'll devise And arrive at a plan that will help hypnotize All the ones left behind The spiritually blind He's stolen their souls Now we steal Seeing the signs, just study the word prophecies all align. The chop off the heads of all those who fight at one earth, one world. Aren't you excited? See the signs from Ezekiel's wheel when the skies unfold like scrolls and the breaking of seals. Heed the warning, the message is clear. Heed the warning, the time draws near. See the signs from Ezekiel's wheel when the skies unfold like scrolls and the breaking of seals. Heed the warning. The message is clear, heed the warning, the time draws near. Where would you be in the year 2012? Are they casting a spell they're not ready to tell? It's time to reveal what they tried to keep veiled. Pure evil they hail and they sell it so well. He fell from the heavenly realms where he dwelled. The once beautiful angel they tried to rebel. Expelled from the light into darkness and hell. Now a serpent and snake with reptilian scales. He wears a disguise with angelic wings and mimics the truth with a lie so obscene. He always repeats the same thing he told Eve that you'll be supreme, a king or a queen. That you can evolve to an enlightened being, a god of your own that can do anything. He feeds on our souls with this fraudulent scheme in so many ways. But it's all just the same See the signs from Ezekiel's wheel When the skies unfold like scrolls And the breaking of seals Heed the warning The message is clear Heed the warning The time draws near See the signs from Ezekiel's wheel When the skies unfold like scrolls And the breaking of seals Heed the warning The message is clear Heed the warning The time draws near Why hide yourself with, you know, creating UFO crap? things like that. Why that deception if that's indeed what's going on? The, the creatures figured out that there was one way that they could frighten mankind and that is to present themselves as technologically superior beings from physical UFOs. Why would they want to abduct human beings? UFO abduction might not be caused by physical occupants but from creatures living in perhaps what we would call another dimension. As yes, the same type of interfering, harassing, uh, paraphysical creature in every culture worldwide.
thousands of years ago, I believe is relevant to us today as well. And he gives us insight as to how to be successful in the land, how to uh, make your presence felt, how to create a maximum experience in the land. I don't want to be the type of person that just existed, but I want to live and I want to live the God kind of life, the Zoe that Jesus promised in John 10, 10, where he said, the thief came to steal, kill and destroy, but I've come that you might have Zoe or life and to have it more abundantly. So if we had to ask you tonight, uh, I believe you would choose to live life to the max, to live life uh, with full abundance. So in Deuteronomy chapter eight here, he says, uh, if you are careful to observe or to be aware of, to consider at all times, then he says, then you will live and multiply. And again, the God we serve is not, I mean, he loves addition. Addition is a wonderful thing. But in his potential, in his word is multiplication, multiplication uh, factors that somehow he'll take one and, and one will prove, produce 10 and he'll bring another and produ another will produce, produce 100 and another will produce a thousand fold and he multiplies over and over again. So when we come together, there is uh, multiplication power amongst us that we just have to act on together. And as we act on together, we will see God increase us and multiply us in ways that are far beyond that which many would have expected by looking at the small numbers that are there. So be careful to observe that you may live and multiply and go in and possess the land which the Lord swore to your fathers. How many believe that God has greater things for you to experience in this land? I believe it. In this earth, there are greater things for you to experience. And he's given us the key to getting it right now. Again, he's talking to a a body of believers who believe for a deliverer. Amen. So God sent a deliverer. And then while they're in the wilderness, we understand that they were tested in the flesh and they were tested and, and uh, they wanted things that were symbolic of their past. And they wanted to, you know, everything around them reminded them of uh, what the past life was like. And, and therefore, God was trying to bring them into a new place. And he's always trying to bring us into a place greater than that, which sometimes we're willing to go. Sometimes we get lulled into complacency. We get lulled into accepting where we are. But God is trying to bring you into higher places. He's trying to bring you into a beautiful place that you must be willing to go into. Watch this, verse number two. And you shall remember that the Lord your God led you all the way these 40 years in the wilderness to humble you and test you to know what was in your heart. So watch this. Some of the things that we've gone through in our lives were to expose what was the matter of our heart. I mean, if our heart was wrong, God allowed us to have an experience that exposed our hearts. But watch this. If our hearts are right, if our hearts are pure, he'll give you an experience that will expose a pure heart. And that's what we want to reveal in God every time we're tested or every time we're humbled. Uh, it is to reveal and expose that which is in our heart. And watch what he says. Not only that which is in your heart, but whether you would keep his commandments or not. Mm -hmm. So why does testing come in our lives? God wants to, you to know if you'll keep his commandments. He already knows what you're going to do. But he wants to reinforce and reiterate in you the value of his word in your life. Watch this in verse number three. So he humbled you, allowed you to hunger, and he fed you with manna, which you did not know, nor did your fathers know, that he might make you know that man shall not live by bread alone, but man lives by every word that proceeds from the mouth of the Lord. Okay, so how did he sustain them? They were sustained by the word that came from God's mouth. How will he sustain us? We are sustained by the words that come from the mouth of God. If he were to change his word, then the world around us that we know would change entirely. Mm -hmm. So God sustains the, the air we breathe, the earth we enjoy, the things that we uh, have come to depend on, God has placed in our lives and he sustains us because of his word. 
So the word is that essential to the stability of every person's life. But it needs to be the source, the resource that causes us to live the type of life that God purposed for us to live in the beginning. Let's read verse number four. I'm going to go through four through 11 very quickly. He says, verse four, your garments did not wear out on you, nor did your foot swell these 40 years. Look at how his words sustain them. Verse five, so you should know in your heart that as a man chastens or disciplines his sons, so the Lord your God disciplines you. Therefore, you shall keep the commandments of the Lord your God to walk in his ways and to fear. Again, that word fear is to respect, is to reverence God. For the Lord your God is bringing you into a good land. Praise God for that. A land of brooks and waters, of fountains and springs. Some of us right now would, would do everything we could just to be amongst fountains and springs. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we, we, would, we would trade, we would go to work overtime and work around the clock. And, and make every investment we could to be amongst the springs and the rivers and the waters that God has created. And God said, I'm going to bring you into these places because these are for your good. He says, a land of brooks and water, fountains and springs that flow out of the valleys and hills, a land of wheat and barley, of vines and fig trees and pomegranates. So the sweet things that are in the earth, God's going to bring you into those. A land of olive oil and honey. Yep. A land which you will eat bread without scarcity, in which you will lack nothing. Mm -hmm. Think about that. A land in which you will lack nothing. You know, I, I want you tonight, as you're hearing these uh, this this passage of scripture, you see that in the New Testament, most of what we're reading here is is fulfilled in the New. Um, when when God brings His people together, He doesn't want anyone to be without bread. He doesn't want anyone to be, uh, to, to live where there's scarcity. He wants everyone to be filled and to be full uh, and in a place to where we're all experiencing the best of life together. That's always been God's plan for us. And again, when we go to the New Testament, we see this in Jesus's ministry. We see this in the first church that was created because they were, they were careful to observe what Jesus commanded them to do. And I think sometimes when we forget to observe, we lose sight. Mm -hmm. And in losing sight, I, I love the, the common slogan in our culture, in our time, which says, out of sight, out of mind. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So if you're not looking at the word, guess what? It's out of your mind. Mm -hmm. If you're not focusing on the word, you're not thinking about the word. Mm -hmm. And if we're not thinking about the word, essentially it means we're not thinking about God. But as we keep our eyes on God, as we keep him in our minds, we keep him in our hearts, we keep him in our actions. He begins to show himself through us. He begins to reveal himself in our his very presence through us as we live our lives. Verse 9 again, a land which you will eat bread without scarcity in which you will lack nothing. Oh, Lord, bring us to that place. Yeah. A land whose stones are, are iron and whose hills can dig copper. When you have eaten and are full, then you shall bless the Lord your God for the good land which he has given you. Remember, these good things come from God. God yeah. gives us the land. God gives us the provision. God gives us the promotion. God gives us the benefit. He gives us the bread. He gives us the sustenance. Everything that we have comes from God. And then verse number 11, beware that you do not forget the Lord your God by not keeping his commandments his judgments and his statutes, which I command you today. Okay. Mm -hmm. So we have to be mindful to keep the word in remembrance, keep the word in your view, keep it in your eyesight so that that will bring you into the presence of the Lord. Now watch this. We saw here where God said he humbled them and he fed them manna from heaven. He gave them things that the natural man could not produce. And then he says he did this so that, men would know that man cannot live on bread alone. Yeah. But that man would live by every word that proceeds from the mouth of God. Go to Matthew chapter 4. So we were in Deuteronomy chapter 8. Thousands of years later, we go to Matthew chapter 4. And we're going to read about another son of the Lord who was in the wilderness. Now, 
The first sons that were in the wilderness were the children of Israel. They cried out for a savior. They cried out for deliverance. They were hungry and thirsty. And God says, I will satisfy your thirst. Right. So one of the reasons that we don't get filled now is because we're not thirsty any longer. We've allowed other things to replace God in our lives. Mm -hmm. And God is saying, listen, I'm the only one that can satisfy. And I love what Jesus told a woman at the well. Hey, the water you're drinking, you'll have to keep drinking. But the water that I give will right. satisfy you forever, right? Yeah. So that's the type of water that we want. It's called living water. And it only comes from God. In Matthew chapter 4, verse 1, we again, Deuteronomy, the sons were in the wilderness. In Matthew chapter 4, then Jesus was led up by the Spirit into the wilderness. Here's his son again in the wilderness, right? Yes. To be tempted by the devil. So what does that tell me about the place where uh, of wilderness? Wilderness is often where you'll find uh, the, the manifest presence of the devil. Uh, he lives, he roams in places of dryness. He roams where people aren't satisfied and filled. He he dominates where people are complaining about what they used to have and they can't be grateful for what they have oh. right now. He rules in his spirit is alive in those people who, who will backbite against leadership, who will uh, be stiff-necked, as the Bible says, who reject the counsel of God and the, the direction of God and the will of God for their lives. Uh -huh. In the wilderness, you'll find a great manifestation of the presence of the devil. Look what it says here. He was led by the Spirit into the wilderness to be tempted of the devil. And when he had fasted 40 days and 40 nights, afterwards, he was hungry. Here's a question for the believers right now. How long have you been fasting? See, fasting suggests that you're not eating. Well, here's what happens. Spiritually, if you're not eating the word on a daily basis, you're literally fasting. And because you're fasting, you're vulnerable and you begin to look for other supply. And the enemy realizes this, so he comes in and he tempts you. He offers you other supply so that you'll never turn on to the real supply. Yeah. So you'll never accept God's true supply. So Jesus... After 40 days and 40 nights, it says afterwards he was hungry, as we all <laughs> would be. Yeah. Right? So after it clarified, the word said he was hungry. Then, verse number three, now the tempter came. See, the tempter realized he could not come sooner than that because Jesus was still filled. He was still full of the word of God. He was still full in the place, in the presence of God. But when he became physically weak and weary, the enemy showed up. And he comes into our lives at the same time. When we fear, when we're devoid, when we're empty, when we're hungry, when we're vulnerable, he shows up. And then he comes with what appears to be for your good. But it's a snare. It's a trap. And look what he says here. If you are the son of God, what is he trying to do? Trying to question your identity. And we were just on the blog and we were talking about if people knew who they were, then you wouldn't do certain things. Yeah. If you realize that you're a royal priesthood, you would act like a royal priesthood. But if you realize that you believe that you're trash, you, you act like trash. If you believe that you're worthless, you present yourself as though there's no value. So it is important for you in all things to know who you are. So Jesus, the first temptation that the enemy brought to him in his most vulnerable time of weakness was to question are you who you said you were? Mm -hmm. If you are the son of God, then command that these stones become bread. But Jesus answered and said, it is written, man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeds from the mouth of God. So where did Jesus learn that? Well, he learned it from the scrolls. And I, I guarantee you, he read the scroll yeah. where we saw in Deuteronomy, where the Lord said, I tempted you to show you that your supply did not come from man, but from God. Yeah. And that every word that I give you is for your livelihood, is for your substance, is to sustain yeah. you. Yes. 
So even though the enemy tried to question his identity, question his authority, tried to prompt him to do things that were out of character with what he was there to do, Jesus was disciplined. Jesus was committed to the, to the word. And he says, it is written, man should not live on bread alone, but on every word that proceeds from the mouth of God. But the devil wasn't done. Mm -hmm. In verse 5, the devil took him up into a holy city, mm -hmm. set him high on the pinnacle of the temple where you belong, Jesus. And he said to him, if you are the son of God, throw yourself down, for it is written, he shall give his angels charge concerning you. <laughs> and in their hands they shall bear you up. Yeah. Lest you dash your foot against the stone. So what was he asking Jesus to do? He's saying, Jesus, I know the angels are supposed to, they're supposed to be submitted to you, the Son of God, sent to the earth to do the Lord's bidding. They're supposed to honor your every request. So I tell you what, Jesus, I have exalted you and put you in a high city. Cast yourself down. Jump down off this high city place, off this pinnacle, and allow the angels of the Lord to, to rescue you, to, to catch you in the air was trying to get Jesus to commit suicide okay to stop his ministry before it really matured he realized what was about to happen he was about to prematurely cut off three and a half years of discipleship based yeah. ministry real practical hands-on demonstrated ministry signs and wonders where the kingdom of God was going to be manifest in the earth and he tried to silence it in one moment of weakness mm. and like he did with Jesus he wants to do the same with us. So it is important that we know the word. Now, Jesus didn't respond with his own word. Look what he said in verse number seven. It is written again, you shall not tempt the Lord your God. Watch this. If we would learn to keep our eyes on this word, the word of the Lord, in every moment of temptation, God has provided a word. He said he's already provided a way of escape. And you know what that escape is? It is the word of the Lord. It will bring perfect peace to every situation it will set every captive free but satan wasn't done hmm. again verse number eight the devil took him up on an exceedingly high mountain he took him higher took him higher right and showed him all the kingdoms of the world and the glory and he said to him all these things i will give you if you will fall down and worship me hmm. and he said jesus said to him away with you Satan for it is written you shall worship worship the Lord your God and him only shall you serve mm -hmm. then the devil left him and behold the angels came and ministered to him so watch this what does this tell me this tells us several things number one that the enemy cannot prevail where the word is dominate. That's right. So if the word is alive in your life, the enemy cannot prevail against you. This is the reason why Jesus said, I'm going to build the church. And in the church, the gates of hell cannot prevail against that church. Why? Yeah. Because he knew that was the place that would store honor and reverence his word. Yeah. So where the word is alive, where the word is ruling, the enemy cannot overthrow you. That tells me this, right? If you're a person that's always been bound, always been broken, you ought to do everything you can to get into a word church. Why? Because that word will set you free. Amen. Yep. We read in the scriptures where Jesus came into the temple and the temple had gotten their priorities out of order. And they were exchanging doves and they were exchanging money. They were doing all kinds of things. And Jesus just lost it and overturned the tables kicked them all out and then it says right after he got them all out the lame came in the blind came in yep. the sick came in and he healed them all yep. what does that mean that where the word has been replaced there'll be no power where the word uh is is void there'll always be the presence and the dominance of the wicked one mm -hmm. but where the word is in control and full in your life Satan loses his ability to affect you because the word is in control so we've got to get the word in the church because that's where every captive is going to be free not every temple but in God's church captives will be set free Amen. watch this the devil leaves him and behold the angels came 
and they minister to Jesus. Okay? Mm -hmm. I believe that the ministry of the angels still exists today. And that when we stand on the word of God without compromise, we always get angelic assistance. The angels yes. will come and they will help open doors and move things mm -hmm. out of our way yep. that were there to hinder us. Every answer, and I love when angels come because they bring mm -hmm. answers from heaven. Yes. A reference for you is Daniel. Read the book of Daniel. Daniel prayed and it says 21 days. It, but, the, but here's what the angel said. The angel said, from the time you prayed, God answered and sent the answer. But the prince of Persia delayed the answer for 21 days. But when the angel showed up, mm -hmm. Daniel was still there believing God. Mm -hmm. And that's what, what it takes in our life. We pray, we believe God, we stand on the word. And as long as we stand on that word, the angels know where to find us. Right. And they bring us the answer from heaven. Mm -hmm. So tonight, as we're looking at these scriptures, several things really join out, uh, jump out to us that I want to talk about. And, and I want us to think about Again, how hungry we are. You know, one of the reasons why we don't we don't read the words because we're not we're not relying upon it. We're not we don't see it for what it's really worth. Um, in the blog, we we were talking about taking things for granted and and somehow we've devalued like education and we we don't we don't exalt it anymore. We don't feel like it does much for us anymore. So so the more common we are with things, the less we appreciate them. I just said a mouthful. The more common we are with something, the less Ooh. we appreciate it. Think about our relationships when we start taking people for granted because they're so common to us. So we're so familiar with them that we lose the the essence and the value that they bring to our lives and that we would be crazy without them. <laughs> See, we, we, we tend to forget about that and how important uh, someone is to us until they're removed from our lives. And then we, we see the void, the cavity begins to make itself known. It pronounces itself. Well, can you imagine your life today without God? Can you really understand where you would be had he not intervened when he did? Mm -hmm. if, if he didn't step in when he stepped in to save your life, that, that many of us who are here today would not be here. Be We'd be on death row <laughs> from, from crime or death row Under from disease, jail. death row from bad choices. We'd be in bondage. We'd be abused. We'd be in a, in a very bad place. And, and we're the, we're, now we acknowledge that. Thank you, Lord. Because we understand Amen. that our lives are nothing without without God, right? So God has graciously been good to us and, and, and shown his kindness to us. He has remembered his covenant with us forever. And now because we have accepted that love, we're now able to give that one to another Amen. and to our generations that follow, right? So God is, is a good God. He feeds us when we're hungry. So tonight as you're hearing, Think about your thirst. Mm -hmm. Think about your hunger. Think about where you are with God. And, and, and I want you in your quiet time to, to be vulnerable to him only. To honor him for his goodness and his faithfulness unto you. But, but to look to him for your supply. Look to him for your strength. Look to him for your joy, for your peace, for your healing, your salvation. Mm -hmm. Look to God first. And he says, everything you owe, else you need, I will freely give to you. Mm -hmm. He says that again in Matthew chapter 6, right? Yeah. So let's look at some scriptures tonight that show God's commitment to us when we're hungry. Go to Isaiah chapter 44. Isaiah chapter 44. It's where we want to be right now. Are you hungry for God? I mean, we're hungry for success. We're hungry sometimes for fame. We're hungry for recognition. But are you hungry for God? Are you hungry for his word? I mean, nobody has to tell you to eat in the natural. You you get up and, you know, uh, we believe the hype. We believe the lies. We were taught, you know, you needed to survive on three meals a day. And then popular uh, nutrition came along and said, no, you need six meals a day. And you need to break it up and, and, and you need to graze and you need to do this and you need to do that. But all that quest for natural things, but where is the quest and where is the hunger and the passion for spiritual things? God's word is spirit and it's life. Uh, Isaiah chapter 44, watch what he says here in, 
in uh, verse number one. He says, yet hear now, O Jacob, my servant, and Israel, whom I have chosen. So who is he talking to? He's talking to those he has, who serve him and those that he has chosen. I really believe we're a chosen nation of people. And we're going to look at that. Um, you know, we may not get to that tonight, but we're going to get to that in our time of study. Here he says, this is, hear me, O Jacob, my servant. Hear me, Israel, whom I have chosen. Thus says the Lord who made you. And who formed you from the womb, who will help you. Fear not, O Jacob, my servant, and you, Jehuzaran, whom I have chosen. For I will pour water on him who is thirsty mm -hmm. and floods on the dry ground. Think about this promise. I will pour water on him who is thirsty. Do you need some water right now? Do you need some, some water in your spirit life? In your praise, in your worship, in your daily living, mm -hmm. God says, I am going to pour water on him who is thirsty. Mm -hmm. You got to let God know that you're thirsty. Mm -hmm. You know, just like we pray, God, I need this. God, I need favor today as I go into this interview. God, I need favor today as I work on these contracts. God wants you to hear. He wants to hear you say, God, I'm thirsty for your presence today. Thank you, Lord. I am thirsty for your word today. And God says, because you're thirsty, I will pour water on him who thirsts. And I will flood your dry ground. Mm -hmm. Think about the areas in your life where you're dry. Okay? Where you're dry. You know you're dry. God says, I'm going to flood you in those areas with the water that comes because of your thirst. What an awesome promise from God. But he, pro he promises to pour that on the one who is thirsty. Guess what that tells me? If you're not thirsty, there's no water. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I mean, we're not trying to drink when we're not thirsty. Mm -hmm. And there is nothing that satisfies the natural man like a cold drink of water. Amen. And there is nothing that satisfies the spiritual man like a cold drink of water from living water from Amen. the Lord. Amen. 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 That is what we need. But God is looking for somebody that is thirsty. Look what he says even further. And I will pour my spirit on, on your descendants and my blessing on your offspring. And they will spring up among the grass like willows by the water courses. Okay. And, and, and another will say, I am the Lord's. Another will call himself by the name of Jacob. Another will write with his hand, the Lord's and his name uh, by himself of uh, the name of Israel. Watch this. God is going to do good things, not only for us, but for our offspring. Mm -hmm. They are going to be blessed because we're thirsty for God and we know who satisfies. Okay. What's going to set a person free? You got to come to the well. You got to come to the place of living water. You got to come to where you'll thirst and you'll be satisfied forever. But only God can satisfy. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. Go to Matthew chapter five and, and this will be the last scripture for tonight Matthew chapter 5 we have come to appreciate these scriptures as the we call them the be attitudes yes <laughs> the be attitudes yes. right this is the attitude you have to be this, this is your <laughs> attitude right the attitude you ought to be Matthew chapter 5 watch this verse 1 and seeing the multitudes, he went up on a mountain. And when he was seated, his disciples came to him. And he opened up his mouth and he taught them, saying, so who is he teaching first? His disciples. Mm -hmm. They are first to hear this, right? And he said, disciples, here is the attitude of my children, okay? Of my disciples, of my believers. Verse number three, blessed are the poor in spirit. For theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Mm -hmm. Blessed are those who mourn, for they shall be confident. Mm -hmm. Blessed are the meek, for they shall inherit the Amen. earth. Blessed are those who hunger and Amen. thirst for what? Righteousness. For righteousness, for they shall be filled. Yes, In fact, I'm going to take it a step further. And they shall be flooded, as we just read. Amen. I will put floods on dry ground. Blessed are the merciful, for they shall obtain mercy. Mm -hmm. Blessed are the pure in heart, for they, they shall, shall see God. God. 
Blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be called the sons of God. And blessed are those who are persecuted for righteousness sake, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. And blessed are you when they revile and they persecute you and say all kinds of evil against you falsely for my sake. Rejoice and be exceedingly glad, for great is your reward in heaven. For so they persecuted the prophets who were before you. Okay, and the scriptures go on and on, and he talks about it. you're the salt of the earth. I mean, he he builds us up. He tells us who we are, and this is the posture. This is the mindset of every true believer. So tonight, are you hungry? If you're hungry, God's going to satisfy. Amen. If you're thirsty, He's going to pour, and what He's pouring now, He will consistently pour until you flood. I mean, let that let that be. I, I love the 23rd Psalm where he says, my cup runneth over. Mm -hmm. You know, I love to run over with his word. I love to run over in his love, to run over in his grace. But think about our lives every day. There, there's always going to be a run over of something. Mm -hmm. So what's running over in our lives? Okay, is it fear? Is it worry? Is it complaining? But these are the things that, that troubled and plagued the children of Israel. But God consistently fed them. God's going to feed us tonight as we admit our hunger unto God and even unto each other. God loves when we come to a place to where we're nothing without him. Amen. When we realize that he is our source and that he is the one that causes us to live. Yes. Father, thank you now for this word that we have heard. I pray that the hunger of your people would increase. That they would value your word and exalt your word and esteem it high above all others. For your words contain the words of life. It's by that word that we live and we're sustained. Thank you for filling us tonight with your spirit. Continue to flood us as your word promised with an abundance of your word. Let that word satisfy all of our desires as you bring us into the place that you have purposed for us to be. A land of, a land filled with milk, a land filled with honey, a land filled with abundance that we might magnify your name and glorify you for bringing us to that place. We worship you and we bless you now in Jesus' name. Amen. Y'all be blessed. We'll see you in church on Sunday morning. Amen. Have a good night. Bullying. Whether it be cyber, verbal, or physical, millions of children each year are victims to bullying, and there isn't a limit to the age. From college freshmen to as young as kindergarten, bullying is destroying our children's youth. If you see someone being bullied, step up. Tell someone. Be a friend and make sure the person is okay. Because together, we can stand up to bullying. You are listening to the Gospel Music Explosion with Minister Robin Lynn.
every breath I take I won't take it for granted I won't take it for granted So I learn from my mistakes It's beyond my control Sometimes it's best to let go Whatever happens in its lifetime So I trust in love Another's wiping off their specs, clearing their labyrinths and reading from a false text. Mm. My complex, 
Just wanna make me think I cannot take it. My inner, I can see reality status so naked. But that's in your head. You know, cause I fast the clearest shed. But since it's in your head. Cause my spirit be getting fed by the words of life. Uh, Distractions come a plenty. To pay them ugly bills is why I need that pretty penny. Other than that, my spirit's training for the fighting in this lost world. Word to Michael Crichton, kid, I get down. By the way, I come from Philly town. With thoughts of the king and in the race to win a crown. My skills found to rip the game another quarter. I try to bring it righteous so a smile ain't out of order. Hanging with my peers. I miss you many shedding tears. But that goes back to the days when I was young working as here. Cause I saw it then. Although not quite as clear as now. It's all about the faith and you're the thing above the proud. Can't get in the way. The grain is no one to confuse. Some say life is a game. But a game is something you can lose. If you choose not, I'll have a Yahweh as your friend. What? With Jesus by my side again. All odds I'm gonna win and I'ma invest Some time for heading to the next uh, To rest from all the stress that comes from battles with the flesh And plus to get blessed Wait, what? Directions I be needing To go against the one that brought about the rape of beat Don't you get the gist? Yeah, you think that cheap illusion is That trick he ever thought was making us think he don't exist The devil walks free with glee Leading the blind With twisted aspirations bordered on the asinine what? So you best to guard your mind divinely Cause my friend it be what? In your best interest that you get to know your enemy And you will see We be headed for war The likes of which man today has never seen before I stand in awe of the raw and written page The breakdown of the world shows that the ending of an age Is coming, the sun it, glory that be stunning We'll have the angels humming, the chief drummer will drum it A new day with the heavens broken up and rearranged Instantly the Christ and family caught in the air and change What an a dream, wake up those your whole dear Just take a look at nature screaming time is coming near Reality be superficial, what is make believe? To give birth to truth, desire must be conceived Allow me to shoot the gift of gab again So say the Antichrist will rise about the Vatican Yeah, connected to the EU, precipitating slaughter One religion, one currency, and one new world order Talking about peace, and we can all get along But it was written, we can't Until the evil one is gone, so say that you're wrong Some just look at me and yawn Living life like a pawn It's also what the world is for They ignore, don't even know they got a sword No matter the danger, the battle belongs to the Lord That's interesting, what about the path of a psychic? Deuteronomy 18 says my daddy, he don't like it Okay, that's fine, just one more question, then I'll drop it Just tell me what's the difference between a psychic and a prophet well, A prophet gets the word from God through the Holy Spirit and A psychic receives it from evil spirits that be near it It sounds cold, it's a battle for lost souls Salvation's in the blood, so know that God is in control right. But self-edification is the reason I be rapping, I'm the lever say If God exists, how could he let it happen? Uh, I tell him this, our thoughts ain't like this The faith of a child can just accept it like it is But man be on the quest to rule the world by their hand Giving commands when they don't even understand The spiritual, it's such a shame what we be doing Now what do you think? I think I'm glad I'm not a human Events grow, be no longer a lost soul Although we live in chaos God is in control Events grow For self-edification is the reason I be rapping Events grow, be no longer a lost soul
living right, you're giving Christ a black eye. When you love the world, you're having an affair like a black tie. Times are dark like a black sky, but the sun's light can still shine bright at night like a cat's eye. That's why I sure as bats fly. Every rap I do will have Jesus as Lord, Savior, and Rabbi. He's coming fast, black. He came once, we passed that. Keep that on your mind like a flashback. You should have your bags packed. Get out the maze like a lab rat. Put your eyes on him and take it off of the NASDAQ.
on, sing that to the Lord. Just sing, it's you that we worship. That we worship, we worship you today, Father. We worship. We came to worship you today, oh God. Worship. Let's sing it unto the Lord. Sing, it's you. It's you. Come on, sing to the Lord. Sing to the Lord today. It's you that we praise. It's you that we praise, Father. It's you that we praise. Let's sing that again unto the Lord. Sing that it's you that we worship. Oh, it's you. It's you, Lord. It's you that we came to worship. great pleasure that I welcome you to today's graduation ceremony. Students, uh, when you hear the reason or reasons for your absences throughout the years, please exit the auditorium without your high school diploma. Once you've exited, remove your cap and gown and proceed into the unknown. <clears throat> Too tired. Family trip. Part-time job. Helping around the house. Sick day. Starting the holidays early, just because. Starting in the sixth grade, students who miss 18 days or more of school in a year for any reason will fall behind and risk not graduating high school. How many days of school has your child missed this year? Absences add up. Keep track at boostattendance.org today. Brought to you by the U.S. Army and the Ad Council. You are listening to the Gospel Music Explosion with Minister Robin Lynn. Now there are some people that had to give up something to follow the Lord. It's, how should I say it? It's a free way. Come without money. Come without price. But it's not cheap. I wish you'd tell somebody, salvation is free, but it's not cheap. There's a cost to follow Jesus. So the next song is simply, count up all the costs it takes to walk with Jesus. Count up all the costs. Courage, pressure, claim. Make up your mind to suffer if you would have him reign. And when the battle is raging, give glory to his name. Count up all the costs it takes to walk with Jesus. Count up all the costs with courage, pressure, claim. Make up your mind to suffer if you would have him reign. When the battle is raging, give glory to it. You see, there are two things you need to take notice of. If you're going to follow Jesus, it's not going to always be flowery beds of ease. There is suffering that you're going to encounter. There is spiritual warfare. But the song doesn't say, after the battle is over, but when the battle is raging, some folk don't have a shout until they think the battle is over. But in the heat of the battle, 
you can still give glory to his name. Anybody in here ever had to do that? Oh, count up all the costs. It takes to walk with Jesus. Count up all the costs. With courage, press your claim. Make up your mind to suffer if you would have him reign. And when the battle is raging, to turn your speakers up right now. It's about to get ugly up in here. Yeah. yeah. Woo! In my west. Yeah. We in the building, baby. <laughs> yeah. Ike Nice. Yeah. Big Low. Yeah. Be Brand. Woo! Baby Dub. My block. There it is. Talk to him. Ever wonder why we to go through, even though we've been living. 
living the best we know how. But God has a purpose. I'll just continue. As long as He's with me, I know I can. And I. Are you thinking about getting your GED diploma? Well, here at the GED Pep Talk Center, we've got a number of pep talks that can motivate you. Sometimes things don't always turn out the way you want them to. 
You know that feeling? People look at you and don't believe in you. You want some gentle encouragement. Then you're on your way to your GED diploma and a better life. But I know you're probably just a little bit nervous. You can find it in yourself to take that first step. You can improve your future. You can do this. I know you can. You need to start pushing yourself. Now get your game face on and take the first step towards a better life. Hurry up. Don't make me repeat myself. Whatever level of motivation you need to get your GED diploma, we've got a pep talk that's right for you. Call 1-877-38-YOUR-GED or visit yourged.org for your pep talk and find free GED classes in your area. GED is a registered trademark of the American Council on Education. Brought to you by Dollar General Literacy Foundation and the Ad Council. You are listening to the Gospel Music Explosion with Minister Robin Lynn. I'm done, man. It's, it's not working out. What do you mean it's not working out? What are you, what are you saying? I, I'm saying that's it. Angel, I'm very sorry. Your mother is in her final stage of Alzheimer's. There's nothing more we can do for her. Well, does she even know who I am? No, not at all. Hey, um, hey? this is just not the sound that our record company is looking for right now. What are you talking about? I just drove cross country. New album, new video, you said that. Listen, you promised. I know I said those things. Remember me, because you will see me again. some church in here.
gets a little tight. Let me see you raise your hands. Come on, let's say until.
When you were a little kid and you thought about what you wanted to be, teaching was at the top of your list. But things changed. And as you got older, teaching didn't seem like the best option anymore. So you're thinking you'll be something else. But what would your 12-year-old self say? Now you want to be a doctor. You don't think teachers save lives? 25 at a time. An actress? Try playing a different role every time the bell rings. How about a scientist? Ever heard of physics? Chemistry? Who do you think teaches that? Teachers today are breaking down obstacles, finding innovative ways to instill old lessons, and taking learning far beyond the four walls of the classroom. It's time to recognize that great things are happening in teaching and put it back on your list. Don't try to convince yourself otherwise. You had it right the first time. Find out how you can make more at teach.org. Make more. Teach. Brought to you by Teach and the Ad Council. Driving has a rhythm all its own. Don't wreck it with a text. Before you get behind the wheel, silence your phone. Or better yet, designate a texter. For more text-free driving tips, visit stoptextstoprex.org. Brought to you by the Ad Council and the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration. This message is for all of you sitting in the passenger seat. And apologies if it gets a little uncomfortable. But how does it feel to be at the mercy of someone who thinks a random text is more important than your life? Someone who takes their eyes off the road while speeding along in a three-ton hunk of steel. Freaky, right? Well, why not just ask them to stop? Or better yet, volunteer to text for them. It might be a little awkward, but believe me, you'll live. Learn more at StopTextStopRex.org. Brought to you by the Ad Council and the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration. You are listening to the Gospel Music Explosion with Minister Robin Lynn.